So, From sports to uh, theater, I, I've just been so impressed this summer. Know, and, you know, after the pandemic, uh, <laughs> you know, everything is coming back bigger, better than ever. We've talked about Trollwood. We've talked about some of the shows out at uh, The Lights as mm -hmm. well. And I tell you what, we got several messages from people saying, Shrek the Musical yes. is a must-see. Who doesn't love Shrek? I mean, I could watch that movie over and over Over and over again. and over I'd again. I love it. I can sing it, too. Well, Studio Vibes, <laughs> Summer <laughs> Arts Intensive, uh, is got Shrek, and we won't let Heidi sing. We're going to let them sing. Uh, this is incredible. We have part of the crew in studio with us this morning, and I'm super excited about this because they told me Fiona was going to be here, and there's actually three, <laughs> three Fionas. Fionas. Uh, we're gonna walk crazy. over and visit uh, with these guys, and uh, we're going to hear a little singing as well, but um, maybe we can have you raise your hands because there's. we'll start with the Fionas. Uh, Trinity, okay, and we also have young Fiona, Lindy, and we have Lauren as well. All right, but then and the, the gals got to dress up, but we have some very important <laughs> roles as well. Uh, who's going to be playing Shrek? Okay, Shrek there in the middle. And uh, Donkey, everyone loves Donkey. Every, yes, right. <laughs> and Lord Farquaad as well, all right. And then the director, Bryce Hendrickson as well. Which one are you? What, you know, oh yeah. I helped it all come together. You did. Yeah, you're everyone, right? Yep. Yeah, you've got to be. A so little bit of me and everybody. Why, everybody is just raving about this show. Uh, you still have a couple of performances this week, but you have already been performing. What is so special about this production of Shrek the Musical? I think it's just that whole understanding of knowing what makes you special. You know, and the main song of the show is Let Your Freak Flag Fly. <laughs> you know, and they talk about, you know, those underlying themes of judgment. You know, and so, like, I think that's what people see, and these guys get it. And when they perform, like, Freak Flag in some of these songs that have to do about just being yourself and being okay, I think they really get it, and it's resonating with our audiences. Yeah, because that's our topic. I mean, you know... Perfect it, timing. It, it is perfect timing, and it's what we're... We're all dealing with, so we're going fantastic. to hear the Fiona sing in a few minutes. So I said we're going to give a little more attention to the other guys. And <laughs> I heard Donkey has lots of words. Donkey, I mean, how fun is it to play Donkey? What what can people expect from you? From Donkey, you can really expect a little kid. Just just imagine a little kid that's full of energy and just doesn't just keeps on bothering you and won't let you get away. <laughs> just, just a leech on your neck. Just <laughs> won't stop talking. Won't stop moving. Just always there. Was that a hard role for you? Definitely. I've never really played anything similar to that. I've always played either like dark or like dramatic characters, but this one's a whole, whole other side. I love That's it. Awesome. And did I hear, are you kind of one of the senior plus, uh, how old are you and, and, and how did you get involved in this? I'm uh, 19 years old. I am in college. Um, I got involved um, because I, know, I knew Bryce back in middle school because he was a director there and ever since then I've just been doing some of his shows. I call him Senior Plus because I yeah, think senior. some people didn't get to do performances during the pandemic. Last year. Yeah. yeah, so, yeah. so um, great to see you guys all being able to do this again. Yes. Who doesn't, who doesn't love a green ogre when you're talking about a love story? <laughs> uh, so, I mean, that's a pretty big, uh, pretty big role. Talk a little bit about your role. So it's a quite different from roles that I've played in the past. It's more being a, a blunt man that's afraid of the world compared to being upset because I'm basically taking care of this child and I'm learning how to love people. Oh, oh that was deep. <laughs> I think it's going to be a good message in this whole performance. Yeah. <laughs> and nobody, uh, we got a rap beat so we can sing, but no one likes Farquaad. You're very yes. annoying. <laughs> yes, well, I'm always trying to compensate for my shortness. Yes. So <laughs> I have to do that in a very big way. As I say, I'm a giant man, a giant little man. Giant you little sound man. like him right now. <laughs> <laughs> you do. Yeah, you really I, got the, I got the whole low pitch going for That's right good. now. That's good. I love it. Good. All right, when we come back, we're going to hear from the Fionas as they do a little performance, and we'll find out uh, all the details. It's at Cheyenne High School, the Times, and all that good stuff. So don't go anywhere.